to another episode of Hot Wheels TV. Today we're going to take a look at Hot Wheels Railroad. These things were done 1983, 84, 85 and they have gotten really really popular over the past couple of years. So sit back, buckle up, and we're going to go for a train ride. Hang on. The Stow and Go Railroad from Hot Wheels 1984. There were a few different ones, 84, 85, 86. This um, is called Stow and Go because you fold it up like a little suitcase when you're all done and you put it away. So I'm going to show you how to open this up so you don't break anything because you know the first thing anybody does is they yank on stuff and it's plastic and it breaks. So right here on the back are the, the feet. Now the feet are very important because that helps it stand up. It says right here you got to pull up and then pull out. So you're going to pull up and out, up and out. All right. You're going to take this part and you're going to open it up. As simple as that. You turn it around because like I said those are the feet. You're going to bring it up like this. All right. And these feet lock in like here, all right, and that's it. They keep it nice and sturdy. This is the handle that you can carry it with, and it also says freight yard on it. So when you fold it back up, you can carry it as the handle. Now we're going to put it all together, and I'm going to explain to you what comes with the Hot Wheels Freight Yard Stone Go. Stick around. All right. Now we're going to look at the Hot Wheels Railroad sets today. This is the Hot Wheels Freight Yard set, and it was released in 1994. Um, I know a lot of the copyright stuff says 83, but remember a lot of that stuff is a year before uh, it was released. That was when they got all the legal stuff taken care of. So this is the Hot Wheels Stone and Gold Freight Yard set and the uh, engine that came with it is the Red Santa Fe, the blue Conrail flat car, the yellow or the rail box as, as they're called, and the Red Santa Fe caboose. It came with five curved pieces of track, two long pieces, one short piece, one Y, why? I don't know why, but hey, you got a Y piece and a transition piece which you plug in and you could just go down into uh, you know, a flat surface. You know, I was really lucky when I got this that um, all of the stickers are intact. Um, sometimes you see these, the stickers are falling off or they're all put on crooked or they're ripped up or whatever. Um, there is somebody on eBay I keep saying eBay, but hey, it's something that uh, something that we have to deal with, right? Somebody is making um, reproduction stickers for this set, and um, I do have a set for one of my other sets, and they are they're great, and they're really not that expensive. So if you have one that you uh, don't have good stickers for, or you see one that has no stickers, and you want stickers, you know, um, pick it up, and then you can get the stickers off of, off of eBay, and uh, Put yourself together a really nice original, well, put yourself together a really nice, um, and you can't say original, but um, it will look original. So the some of the things that are always missing with this is the little sign, it's a little gray sign, the guards for the, for the road right here, one of them are usually missing. Um, the crane, crane is here, complete, it has the hook which you can move back and forth and pick up stuff. Actually, um, I guess what it does, we'll move this guy for a minute, and we'll bring the train up here. There's also a switch, and where does the switch move the switch thing here? Uh, let's see if we can make it go up here. No, nope, going the wrong way. Um, there, there we go. So we're going to move it up here. 
and bring the train around and we're going to bring the crane up move it over and grab one of the there we go, one of the boxes and pick it up and move it over like that, right? And then we're going to put it, uh, you know, we're going to have a truck or something like that, a flat um, hot wheel truck and put that down there. Or you could make believe that uh, you're going to drop it. Whoa, look out! But that's the cool thing about all of these stone go sets. Uh, they're hands-on. They're uh, not battery operated. They are kid powered as they were called. So uh, this here is the freight yard. Here is a, a watering filler if you have uh, the Iron Horse steam engine, uh, which uh, we didn't come with this set, by the way. So we have the train cars. And uh, another thing to look for is like this guy over here, this little forklift, it moves um, by this right here. All right, moves in and out. You always make sure you got that guy. And this yellow switch here moves this part of the track back and forth, like the one up here. Um, I'm trying to figure out where the. Oh, I guess you just move that one with your fingers. So like I did, like I did earlier. So this is the freight yard set. Oh, and there is um, this guy in here, which is a total pain to get in and out. Hey, it wasn't bad. Right here, this goes on the end right here and goes down, as you can see in the picture here. Um, and then all of these track pieces connect to it and it makes for a pretty cool setup. Um, there's a door on this side too that closes up so you don't lose uh, your parts. And there we go, close that up. So this uh, um, has a, uh, a, a roundabout or a uh, switcher. You can get the um, train car in the middle of it. All right, and go here with it. Or you can move it a little bit and you can hide it. Oh, there's doors in here too, by the way. Got to open the doors before you put anything in there, right? So we're going to open that up, open that up. And we're going to put the train car in there. And we can take one of the other train cars and put them in there too. Um, you know, hope you got a little finger to get your cars out of there. There we go. And there's also another track right there and you can put it right in there. So you can hide everything all in there and then close your doors and you're all set, right? So open them up, get your box car back out and you can drive it right over there and then you can close your doors Put that back there and drive your train over here and stop. Now this comes out too. You can put more track down here. Um, the part over here you can put here. Or if you have more sets, you can add to them that way. Um, so you can put this up here, make it stop up there, or make it stop here, or have them both, um, you know, connect to, to each other. Um, I have a whole bunch of different sets, and uh, they're a lot of, a lot of fun. So this one here is the Hot Wheels Freight Yard. These are the train cars that come with it. This is the track that comes with it. I picked this one up recently uh, at a toy show. I got it for 35 bucks. Complete. Complete. You know, you see a lot of, a lot of crazy prices on eBay. Uh, you know, you don't have to pay those prices. You can find parts and pieces. You can make yourself a set. And um, I did show you in the last video the box that I bought. Just the box and then put pieces together. And this is perfect. So this is complete. 
put this all in the box and I got a complete set. So uh, you can do it too. Or you can play with it like like I do. I mean I love playing with my Hot Wheels. So it's it's a lot of fun. So um, we're gonna look at some more of the different Hot Wheels play sets and uh, stick around and we're gonna come up with the next one. Thank you for watching Hot Wheels TV. We appreciate that. Please share our videos with your friends. Please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please be kind to one another. So until the next time we meet right here at Hot Wheels TV, maybe we'll see you at the PEX, maybe digging through that big bin at Walmart. You never know. Always looking for something. But until then, take care. Bye-bye.